Morning all, Foz here at Hangar 10 Airbrush Studio. So I've got a Harley Davidson fuel tank to paint this week with a with a rattlesnake design on it. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you now how I'm going to transfer an, an, an outline of the snake to the fuel tank. So I based my fuel tank in, in white, um, printed the image off of the snake that I want to use. And I'm just going to hold it down just with a, with a couple of bits of masking tape just to keep it in situ. And that's where, where I want him. So I've then got some sarrel paper. It's a bit like transfer paper that you used to use as a kid. Mine's clearly a bit old, a bit dusty, but you can still just about see what I use. And the good thing about this stuff is it could be reused again and again. You can still see a little bit of a stencil from, from the last painting that I've done. Um, so you need to put it red face facing down. So we'll sandwich that between the fuel tank and the snake. Something like that. And then what we're going to do is go around the whole image um, and just pick out the, the key parts of reference that I'm going to use for when I'm painting it. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. If I draw some of the detail on the snake, I'll hold this on because I don't want to disrupt the placement of what, what I'm masking. So we should be able to see, I've got a little bit of an outline there, have a look on the camera, you might just about be able to see it. So what I'll do, I'll go around the whole of that image and then I'll, I'll show you how that looks. So I've gone all the way around the snake, uh, picking out all of the reference points that I think I'm going to need. Um, be careful when you remove this because you want to make sure it stays in the same position because if you need to highlight any bits again, if it's not in the same place, obviously you're not going to get a nice crisp image. So we'll pull that up and have a... Have a look, see what we've got. Yeah, and that's all the reference points I think I'm gonna I'm gonna need for the image. Um, depends what colour you're you're gonna be doing this. Um, most black and white work I end up candying just to match in with a bike, so it's not as important. But if you're keeping it black and white, or you're using a, a brighter colour afterwards, um, you want to make sure you don't see any of this red. So what I normally use is just a regular pencil eraser. Go over the whole image really, really lightly. You still want to keep that reference, but just dull down the redness a little bit. And you should still be able to see it, and you won't have any problems of seeing the red after the image is all, is all finished.